evidence. Because only a month later, oh, into February, there was a news article no. that my younger sister sent to me that basically talked about the same exact man from my plane ride being sent to jail for multiple accounts of rape, attempted rape, kidnapping, attempted oh kidnapping, my God. and first degree murder in Istanbul. Reading that Yo. article made me sick to my stomach. She was honestly, sitting next to a serial killer. To stay home for the holidays for a few years. Sophia was literally sitting next to a psycho serial killer. You've got to be kidding me. In the winter of 2018, to escape the cold weather, my girlfriend Claire and I took a week off from our jobs to go away to a nice beach resort in Mexico, where the water was crystal blue and the weather was perfect. That's... The resort was extremely affordable for a seven-day all-inclusive package. It had a buffet, three pools, was on the beach, had a million bars, an entertainment hall, and tons of group excursions. We were going to be there for a whole week, so we had a lot planned. The first couple days we relaxed around the resort, getting use out of the unlimited drinks package. The surrounding unlimited area drinks. of the resort was a lot Sheesh. of jungle and scenic looking roads, so we took a private shuttle on the third day to the nearest car rental place. The shuttle driver warned us not to stray too far from the coast, as there are a lot of unsafe areas. We rented a Ford Fiesta. There weren't exactly any Mustangs or Camaros at this rental place. <laughs> the car rental Bad. place was in a small city about five miles up the road from the resort. There was basically this one long road that ran along a bunch of resorts, and next to this road was miles of jungle and occasional small towns. We drove Jeez, south on the huh? road until we ended up in Tulum. The actual city of Tulum was less appealing than I had imagined, considering a lot of my friends were always talking about wanting to go there. We drove through the Tulum area and then back up north. We found a dirt road into a jungle area and decided to just drive through it and see where it goes. On either side of us was just jungle, probably for miles. We drove down this wide dirt road enjoying the scenery and little off-roading experience. Though Claire seemed to think we shouldn't be on a dirt road like this in a rental in fear of dirtying it up. And I agreed. So we did a three-point turn and started heading back in the direction of the main road. Eventually, we were stopped by these three men walking out from the jungle onto the road. We both simultaneously sat on um... knowing this could be trouble. I brought the car to a halt and lowered the window a little bit as one of the men came up to it and started speaking in Spanish. I said no hablo espanol and things started to get a little heated. One of the other men came to Claire's window and knocked on it. I told her not to lower it. Drive off. The guy at my window Drive started saying off. money, money. And I saw the one man still in front of the car making his way to my window as well and he pulled a knife out of his right pocket. Floor it. I stepped on the gas. Yeah, the hit the forward. gas and go. The three men were yelling and running after us, but obviously they couldn't run faster than a car. Our hearts were in our throats from that encounter. I didn't Jesus. let up on the gas until we made it off the dirt road. After that, we didn't really want to drive around anymore. We brought the car to the resort park. Yeah.